make sure you like comment and subscribe because we're at home doing nothing we're just chilling so uh, for today's video we're gonna do a part two of my so you want to be a chemistry major video just because I got a lot of questions on that video it's actually one of my most viewed videos so I'm assuming a lot of people are interested a lot of you want to see a lot of you want to know how I do it and I can name them just kidding but um as you can tell I've been watching TikTok a lot actually so yeah like I said I'm just gonna read some of the questions that I got on that video and just answer them in a video because um, I think they'll be helpful to more than just the person that commented you know so um yes I'm still but I'm just gonna do a little background in case you don't know uh, my name is Ruth I'm a biochemistry major well I have I'm a chemistry major with a concentration in biochemistry and a minor in biology so yes a lot of science um and i am a senior i'm supposed to be graduating this semester but things happen so you're gonna catch me in december and yeah that's basically the background in that video i said i wanted to be a dentist a lot's changed guys i don't want to be a dentist anymore i think i'm gonna go into uh chemical research or research whatever just any type of research type of ordeal because i went on this tour and it was pretty cool so i think that's where i'm leaning towards um, but yeah, let me just get on to the questions. So, I got a lot of questions and a lot of people like that video. A lot of people like that video. But I did get one hate comment that I'm looking at right now. Eric Mark, if you're watching this, I'm talking about you. Anyways, just kidding. But okay, so um, the first question I had was, uh, can you do a video on acids and, va and bases? On that video, I commented and I was like, yeah, I can do that. But the more I think about it, I'm just like... In that video, if you watch it, I said I do struggle with that major. It's hard. It's a hard major, not just for me, but for a lot of people. So I feel like in order to do tutoring videos or teaching videos, I should have like a very good understanding of that topic before I just go out there and just say stuff. Because then we're all going to be confused. And what sense does that make? Like, sure, I could probably do a little bit more like studying and looking into videos to try to get a video out like that. But it's so many more resources that you can use on youtube that are so much better than than what i could ever say because like i said it's a hard major and i'm struggling too your girl used to cry so i don't think i'm i'm i'm, I'm just the right person for that job so yeah, i don't think so i don't think that's my calling <laughs> um so yeah that's i don't think i'm gonna be able to do um tutoring videos just because of that reason i don't think I'm, I'm i'm i don't that ain't that ain't it chief okay so the second question basically this person was asking me well they're having issues because someone's like why are you choosing that major why don't you choose um what is it called chemical engineering why are you what are the job opportunities like what are the opportunities in that major so i don't know much about chemical engineering just because that's just not my major in the comment he's saying it's a lot of physics and stuff like that physical chemistry i don't know i don't know um i'm not i have never taken any engineering classes so i'm not sure but what i can say is with chemistry degree you can always go into like the medical schools you can go into dental schools pharma pharmacy schools you can do research like i said you can become a food chemist you can go to forensic science school or classes or whatever um there's a lot of options that you can do but it just it depends on what you can be a lab technician it just depends on what what you're interested in and uh i've seen a lot of comments about saying that people are trying to get you to choose a different major or telling you to choose a different path at the end of the day everybody listen up put put some i don't know listen up at the end of the day this is your life okay like whatever you want to do that's what you need to do not because no one's telling you not because you think it's a good financial move i mean i don't know if it's a good financial move or not but anyways but it's like whatever you think you want to do whatever you want 
to study whatever you want to do don't do this because nobody else don't do this because hey my dad's a chemist so i'm gonna be a chemist don't do this because do it because you want to i actually was playing fortnite in that bed right there i was playing fortnite and i was talking to this girl because she had a mic too and usually it's like really rare to find people with mics on fortnite but she had a mic too and she was saying how she used to be a biology major and she switched to art because that's just what she wanted to do and she was uh, i think she said a sophomore or junior i don't remember but she switched her major she switched her major to um art she wanted no 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 she wanted to be a nursing student she wanted to be a nursing student and she quickly realized that that's not that's not what she wanted to do and she switched it to art and there's nothing wrong with that whatever you want to do because at the end of the day this is your life not anybody else's okay so don't get discouraged if people are like oh, why not mate why that major or oh, that's tough or whatever because like i said in my last video one of my advisors was like that's a tough major why would you do that like girl i'm about to graduate so don't tell me don't don't do that don't tell me that i'm not good enough to do something okay but yeah um but like i said i'm not i'm not too familiar with chemical engineering but those are some options that you have in case you choose to do a chemistry degree you can be a lab technician a chemist a research chemist the possibilities that you could be a teacher you can get your um your um masters and become a and then your phd whatever and become a professor you can do a lot of stuff analytical chemist that's always an option this person asked am i doing some internships or co-ops um i did do a bit of internshipping at a dental you know a dental facility but i didn't really like it that's why i was like this may not be what i want to do i didn't want to go into dental school but i was after i like worked a little bit with you know the dental office i was like mm. Mm. but yes i have done a little bit of that but not too much so um <clears throat> let's see yeah there's a lot of questions comparing chemical engineering and chemistry like i said i'm not i'm not too sure about chemis chemical engineering just because i've never had any experience with that so i can't i'm not really fit to answer questions about that just because i don't know oh this other person said that she feels judged um or lonely because she feels like maybe she's the only one that isn't getting uh, getting the schoolwork and stuff you know that's completely i feel like once again i feel like the harder majors the more people are like hesitant to say when something when they don't understand something just because they don't want to sound dumb like one time this girl in class i think it was analytical chemistry was like every time she'd raise her hand to ask a question she'd be like oh i'm this may be like a really dumb question she'd always answer her questions like she'd always answer start her questions like that and i'm like i feel you girl like i feel you like i get it but it's it's if you have questions about something if you don't understand something like i said there's probably other people that feel the same way as you do and it's never a, a dumb question especially with a major like that like girl no like don't even worry about it because there's plenty of other people that probably are in the same boat and feel the same way you do but and she said she and this girl said that she works um a full-time job and has work an apartment and stuff so she has a lot of stuff going on so kudos to you miss edith Boop. kudos to you girl because i couldn't do it um someone else asked me did i take any ap chemistry classes in high school no i did not i did have the option but i chose not to do it however if you do want to go into a chemistry degree and you know you want to go into a chemistry degree i do suggest you take some ap chemistry classes in high school not only are you going to get that credit if you pass hopefully you do but it'll kind of help you understand like the way I'm gonna say how professors may be in college I, like i said i'm not too sure what the difference would be i heard that um from in my school when i was in uh high school that the ap teachers more a little bit more babied you um college professors do not baby you like they do not baby you. they don't care if you show up they don't care if you're there they don't care if you do your homework they don't care if you don't do your homework they don't care if you never go to class again they don't they don't know your name 
who they don't know your name they don't they don't know where you sit they don't know nothing most of them some of them do take the time and stuff but most of them don't care like they do not care um and yeah so it's like what was i even talking about oh it became chemistry classes my bad <laughs> um so yeah if you if you do have the option to take ap chemistry classes i suggest you take them just because um you'll be more you know prepared i feel like your your work ethic might be good my work work ethic at school is not good and it it showed in high in college too like i procrastinate i'd be the biggest girl i used to procrastinate who i procrastinate and i still do I still do. I have a, a paper in two days. And I haven't even started on it. A lab, a lab report, a lab, a chemistry lab report due in two days, Tuesday to be exact. And I haven't started on it. So I feel like if you do have that option, you should take it because you'll be a little bit more prepared for what's to come. And your work ethic is going to be good. And then you're going to be Gucci. And then you already have a little sample, little sample of what it's going to be like. Uh, someone said they're planning on doubling. In either physics or computer science once again you know what i'm actually taking in physics right now and with this whole ordeal that's going on right now it's online and um you know what i thought that my teachers were going to be a little bit more lenient with stuff but they're like going at it they're just it's like they're it's like since they know we're at school i mean we're at home they're just piling on work just piling it on if I'm looking up there, that's because that's my viewfinder. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I just like seeing myself. Ooh. But anyways, irrelevant. Yeah, they're just piling on the work for no reason. Like, they're just piling on the work. I have, a, like I said, a lab report on Tuesday. And I also have, I feel like I'm talking really fast. Anyways, uh, I have a lab report on Tuesday. And I also have a test in my physics class on Tuesday. I'm taking physics I think those are all the questions that I got. Um, right now, I'm taking physical chemistry. I'm taking a lab, a bio organic lab that I didn't take. I already took the class, but I didn't take the, the lab. Like I said, I was supposed to graduate this semester, but I'm not because um, I still have two more classes. I have senior survey. I don't know if everybody does senior survey, but in my college, um, we have senior surveys senior survey at the University of Memphis I have uh, we have senior survey which is basically like what I from what I've heard is like an overview of all of your classes and you and there and it's kind of to refresh your memory type of thing and then you have like a paper and um, from what I've heard like I said most of the, the, the quizzes and tests you're taking aren't being graded it's mainly just that paper that you're getting graded on which you can pick whatever you want to write about and just write about it and it's like 10 page paper and boom or something like that 10 15 i'm not sure 15 18 i'm not too sure and then i'm also taking a bio what's it called foundations and biochemical tech lab it's a lab class i already took biochemistry last semester let me tell you biochemistry sucks to me it sucked so um that's basically the only other two classes that i'm going to be taking and then i'm done i'm finished so I have taken a lot of my courses already. All of them, basically. All of my courses, I just have, like I said, physics I'm taking, uh, physical chemistry. Oh, um, I'll probably show like a snippet of what my day, what my online social distancing classes are looking like right now. Just so you can have an idea of what basically my day is kind of going through. Well, well, not my day, but what it's supposed to be going through. Because like I said, I procrastinate. I'm a procrastinator. So, but I might show you like what exactly it is I'm supposed to be doing during this quarantine. And how my teachers are going about doing labs and classes. And how I'm being graded on while social distancing. So, yeah um i think that's it i answered all the questions that i got um like i said chemistry it, it's not for everybody if you don't like chemistry it's probably not for you you know if you had a bad grade in chemistry in high school maybe it's not for you um but if it's something that you want to do go for it don't let, ever let anybody tell you you can't do it because that's what my advisor said and i was done i said bet i'm in there okay i don't play that sure you like 
comment and subscribe so we can go to we can be at like 300 subscribers or like 1000 subscribers that would be cool and make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel because we're dropping bangers pretty often pretty, uh, pretty often we're trying to get there okay we're trying to get there yeah peace out girl but like i said we're not really done because um i do want to show y'all like what my day actually where am i going my my laptop is over here girl ugh, whatever okay so i'm gonna show y'all basically what my classes are supposed to consist of why did i shut the video off if i was going to do this i don't know basically for my classes uh foundations okay so for my physical chemistry class my chemistry class the only one i'm taking right now my teacher puts up videos he puts up videos where he basically goes through the concepts that he wants us to learn i'm not gonna play it but and then each you know each um week like tomorrow he puts up a quiz that he wants us to do now these quizzes have been very simple honestly they've been pretty simple i think he wants us to like he really wants us to pass so that's basically what my online classes have been going like for chemistry it's just he puts up some lecture points he gives us some chapters to read and then he'll go through a quiz actually I have a test coming up on Tuesday so that's basically my chemistry uh, my my physical chemistry class that's basically what we're doing on that for my uh, lab class it is a little bit different we have well she just my lab TA recently just started filming our procedures basically filming like what she wants us to do and well not what we on what we we're supposed to do but we didn't have a chance because we weren't in lab and I'll show you what that looks like basically ooh, it's a YouTube video wow crazy right a YouTube video and then um, we get you know a procedure we read and then we read through our procedure we look through our procedure and we write a paper about what's going on also our procedures have questions that we need to answer through our post lab or procedure um i'm saying procedure a lot but basically we're writing a paper however many pages to get to your point whatever it's not really a set page but that in the paper we answer basically what's in our procedure or what questions the procedure asks asks us based on the experiment that you know she posts on YouTube so that's basically how that class is going and I think I'm just gonna talk about those two classes just because a lot of people are just more interested about the chemistry part and not so much of my other classes but yeah that's pretty much it that's basically how my um, online classes are going they're not really that hard not that difficult so far I do have some tests coming up but girl I'll start studying for when the days come right period okay but anyways yeah that's it now we're gonna end the video so make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel because we're dropping bangers uh, make sure you leave comments down below to see what you want to see I know a lot of people want to see chemistry videos I know a lot of people want to see monkey app videos I know a lot of people like mukbang so just leave a comment down below and I'll see how I can um, fit it in because now I have all the time in the world so anyways peace out girl scout